Alright, so this video is to follow up with my previous video where I used a 4-in-1 iFlight 50 amp ESC that would not connect to the BL Heli configurator but it would arm and spin the motors it just wouldn't throttle up past arming speed so what I did was switched out the iFlight 4-in-1 ESC and put on the T-Rex, the HGLRC T-Rex 60 amp ESCs, individual ESCs, because I know I've had success with APM flight controllers and individual ESCs in the past. Okay, so this is what happens. I'll show you just what happens when it um, to go arm, turn on the transmitter. Sorry, I gotta whoop, change the model here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and plug it in. Everything sounds good and normal, right? So everything sounds good and normal. We got our Flashing lights and go ahead and hit the uh, hmm. Okay, it must have just got a GPS lock, but I still didn't get the tones from the ESCs like we normally do. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, motors are spinning. Full throttle. This is full throttle. And it doesn't go after arm. I mean, you could tell that if you do aileron roll pitch you know every you could hear it a little bit so that's as far as I got now this is with the individual ESC's let's disarm it ESC are calibrating the lights green now it still doesn't make a difference let's see and it won't arm now Armed. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's just that. Hmm. Hey, buddy. So, anyways, this is where I'm at. I think it's just telling us that. So that's where I'm at and it is extremely frustrating to constantly fail every time you try something new with this. You know, I'm thinking, well, maybe it's the integrated uh, power distribution board power module or the motors, but I tested the motors individually and I know they work. So it's got to be something in the board is what I've come down to. has to be something in the board or transmitter, but I, I've already done all the, it's not the transmitter. So it could be a firmware issue. There is like basically no information on PIXAC flight controllers. Not sure why. Not sure what the big difference is between a PIXHack and a PIXHawk. 
back when they, you know, they were making when these were out 2.8.4. So the documentation should all be the same. So I just wanted to give an update that it is not the 4 and 1 ESC causing the issue. It still does it with individual ESCs. The only thing they all have in common is they're all opto. So, but this is where I'm at, and hopefully the next video I'll update and we'll have a flying quadcopter. I appreciate your input, help, anything. Until next time, have a good day.